This is WCPO 9 News. We thank you for choosing us. I'm Evan Millward. Here's a look at some of the top stories at this hour. Cincinnati police say 30 year old Kendall Jewett is spending the night in jail accused of murder. He was arrested around 630 Friday night accused in the shooting of Chris McQueen. He allegedly shot him in the face inside that restaurant. The McDonald's on McMillan Wednesday evening. McQueen died Thursday at UC Medical Center. The nation's largest concert promoter is joining the list of companies requiring a COVID-19 vaccine to attend its shows. Live Nation announced hours ago it will require artists and fans at all its venues to either be fully vaccinated against COVID-19 or show a negative test. Employees will have to be vaccinated and will not get a pass with a negative test result. Bogarts in Coryville is a Live Nation venue. That new rule takes effect October 4th. A traffic reminder for the next week, starting on Monday, the intersection of Columbia Parkway, William Howard Taft Road and Torrance Parkway will be down to one lane in each direction. This is for some concrete repairs that should have started last Friday. That project was delayed, though, because of a scheduling conflict. Crews will dig up and repair the road base, then repour concrete one lane at a time. Repairs should last about six weeks. Hey everybody, we are talking about some 70s to start off our Saturday morning, mostly cloudy and then partly cloudy a little bit later on. So the weather does get very nice now for your weekend, expecting Saturday's highs to be into those low to close to mid 80s, just slightly below average, but things are looking good for us. We will not be talking about a heat index. Here's a look at your Sunday, 84 degrees. Also, we're talking about less humidity heading into next week, though we do stay in those 80s with more chances of rain.